Hi, my name is Jonathan Mitchell, and I'm a, a CDS fellow at the Center for Digital Strategies. And uh, today we have Al Olivier Guan from Nestle, the CIO. And um, we're going to jump into some questions about the cloud. Um, so to start out, I guess, what, what do you see as the chief benefits of the cloud, and what are some of the risks that you've, uh, you've also seen? Well, we have uh, started to uh, you know, work on this uh, concept of cloud uh, already uh, a year ago trying to basically uh, leverage first uh, what we're doing from an infrastructure point of view, but also leverage uh, the uh, external cloud from a point of view of uh, uh, software solutions that are available and which bring much more value to the business and especially faster in terms of implementation of solution. Mm -hmm. We have find the, uh, the approach to be uh, very good to deliver very fast solution to our end user mm -hmm and the uh, solution which are much more, I would say, standard, because as soon as you go to the cloud, that means you have to adopt the solution and not adap adapt it. Mm -hmm. And it's a very important concept, which is tricky in large companies, because our tendency is to basically take a solution and adapt it to our needs. Sure. And uh, with the cloud, that's something that you have to refrain from doing, right. uh, yeah. because it's very important to adopt the solution. Yeah. Uh, you were talking about risk. What we have uh, uh, faced uh, already a couple of times is, uh, uh, you know, service provider which get bought by somebody else, yeah. and mm -hmm. the service being dropped and being forced to move to something different, mm -hmm. and that's one of the of the bigger yeah. risk yeah. which uh, we have to we have to see. Right. Are there certain solutions that you find more applicable for for cloud, and then um, you know where where areas where cloud isn't appropriate? Uh, I, I don't think there is, uh, you know, the distinction is uh, in that sense. Uh, for us, it's more, uh, we look at, you know, from a functionality point of view, what is important. And uh, my tendency to say in a very large enterprise, it's really, we are trying to leverage our internal uh, architecture and therefore, mm -hmm we tend to develop a lot of things internally and when we have gone out it's because we didn't have the solution available and uh, funny enough most of the solution were on the uh, human resource area mm -hmm. uh, where we did find on the web a lot of standard solution because it's probably an area which is easier to standardize from a point of view of the needs uh, mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. it posed some other issue from a for example privacy point of view mm -hmm. Uh, but that's an area clearly where we have uh, moved in very fast. Yeah, HR, yeah. HR is one. The second one is uh, leveraging the infrastructure from a point of view of uh, supporting web solution, for example, and okay. e-commerce solutions. Okay. Uh, I have a tendency in the company to say, you know, whatever is data is external, let's leave it outside, yeah. and uh, instead of bringing it inside, yeah. and the reverse. Yeah. And therefore, you know, if you have data, like uh, you know, you want to talk to your customer and consumer, why not leaving that outside and yeah. leverage what is available? Are there any dream services you'd like to offer that might harness the cloud in the future? One of the big area for me uh, is around bringing as a value to the is it, uh, to the internal customer. And what I mean by that is, today what we do is we have access to all of our information uh, as of yesterday. Mm -hmm. And when you look at analytics today, you basically want to mash up that with external data, mm -hmm. like market share, for example, uh, or like point of sales data, right. but also with social data, like uh, sentiment right. analysis. And basically, we should leverage you know, the power of uh, the, uh, the web and the cloud to do that and mm -hmm. basically bring, bring the solution together. This is really the area where I believe uh, much of much of the work will be uh, going into in the next few years, okay. at least for our, from our company point of view, because we really need to bring to bring that together. Yeah. How do you think the role of IT will change in a business in the future? Well, I think especially on the cloud, one key point that we have underestimated is the governance, mm -hmm. and uh, I think the we have to play a big role here because it's very easy to go to go and buy a, a, a solution. Mm -hmm. and use it on the cloud, but you need to put the right governance in place because of uh, issue around privacy, and when you are in a large company which is present in every country in the world, you have to ensure that you respect the local rules and then regulation, mm -hmm. and therefore the privacy rules are different country by country, and you have to ensure that you do that, and mm -hmm. clearly the, the governance from that point of view is very important, so you have to set up a certain number of rules in terms of you know what you can yeah. internalize versus externalize and, sure. uh, and make sure that you, you drive that. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think we can bring you know a lot of value to the business by uh, doing that and ensuring that uh, you know, we uh, basically secure our information and we don't uh, take risk for the company and take risk for our consumers sure. because we don't want you know, their credit card number to yeah. be uh, going out on the, 
you know, into you know, of the web. But on that same topic, I guess th there are services such as virtual private clouds that you know allow enterprises to add their own security measures to their their otherwise public clouds. Um, will these be sufficient to limit the risks of data breaches or you know, being able to prevent fraud or, or uh, breaches of data that, that get out there on the web? Well, clearly today, I think we are uh, still at the beginning of that journey on the cloud. Uh, for us, and I believe now for most of the large company, we will favor the uh, internal cloud or the private cloud versus the external cloud for most of our, of our solution. Sure. And uh, we do that because we can leverage you know, our infrastructure and our size. Mm -hmm. And we have you know, uh, an infrastructure which is so large that we can virtualize everything. Mm -hmm. We have already uh, you know, done, let's say, 50% of the virtualization and already got you know, a tremendous uh, savings for the company on one side, sure. but also we are now ready to move on to some more technology and basically deliver a solution much faster to our businesses. Mm -hmm. So that's... Uh, an interesting part because then we can control the data that we have on it, we can control the privacy, the security, mm -hmm. and what we want to do. But at the end of the day, there is a lot of solution which will stay outside, and we are slowly getting there. Mm -hmm. uh, the example I was giving on the uh, HR side, mm -hmm. and but we have to control that privacy. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, the uh, information system is not any more limited to the walls of the enterprise. It has to go to the ecosystem, mm -hmm. and we have to make sure that we drive that. And when you look at all the uh, new technology like mobility uh, and like those uh, technology which are coming, mm -hmm. uh, we really need to manage that. Today we, uh, we manage something like 40,000 uh, uh, iPad, iPhone, uh, mobile you know, devices, mobile devices. Mm -hmm. And uh, f there's one issue which is how do we manage them? How do we secure yeah. them? Mm -hmm. How do we ensure that we take out the data when those uh, yeah. those technologies are being stolen or lost. Mm -hmm. So we have to deal with all those uh, infrastructure technology and then basically how do we deliver solution mm -hmm. to different type of technology. Yeah. This is another issue and we have to drive that as part of our infrastructure. Oh. Yeah. So you think virtual private clouds might be sort of the staging area where you figure out how to manage that kind of volume and then the security issues and then it might eventually be a, an area where you could mm -hmm. roll out into, into public clouds? That's probably uh, the game plan which will happen in the future. Today we do the reverse. We uh, use solutions which are on the cloud uh, just as a, as a kind of a pilot. Okay. Then we bring that uh, on site yeah, yeah. using the cloud technology okay. and because like that we can run it in a secure way and mm -hmm. maybe at one point of time we'll do, we'll do the reverse and basically testing and then move, move out. But yeah. uh, I think it's important that we really choose, uh, choose the governance, that we balance uh, as our act between the two you know, aspects. Yeah. And clearly, we are working with the uh, with our suppliers to uh, basically implement the cloud technology internally in the same way it's being done outside. Like that, we can basically seamless move from one to the other. Okay. You mentioned virtualization; uh, uh, that's really sort of enabled the cloud to sort exactly. of be possible. Where in the in the stage or the process of virtualizing your environment are you, and and how do you see that going forward in in, in the way that cloud is rolled out in your environment? Well, we have uh, basically done uh, around 50% of the environment, which basically is all the uh, development, testing, quality uh, environment. We have not moved to production yet, and that's the next step that we, we need to go to. Mm -hmm. uh, what I want to do is basically uh, make sure that we put an environment together for our developer and uh, for the IT staff. I have about uh, 8,000 people, mm -hmm. and they need to be uh, you know, able to basically have access to, uh, to the technology much faster and mm -hmm. be being able to uh, deliver that to them in a, in a much better way. So mm. through the uh, internal cloud, that's what we, we want to achieve. And I think uh, with the first pilot that we're doing, we are on the right way for that. Great. Well, thank you very much for, for taking the time to talk to me. And uh, we appreciate your insights. And thank you for coming. Thank you.